Hello, Wealthy Family, and welcome to today's Mindset Monday. Thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with me. I love and appreciate you all. I am Chanel, the Setting Infinite Goddess, and today's Mindset Monday is featured by, or not featured, is sponsored by your clairvoyance. That is something that each and every one of us have as a spiritual being having a human experience. We are profoundly clairvoyant, especially if you clicked on this video, because I think that's what I'm going to title it. You are profoundly clairvoyant for you to be aware, for you to know, for you to accept this knowing it is part of you. Now, what does it mean to be clairvoyant, right? Clairvoyant allows you the gift of sight what it is that you can see in your mind's eye and sometimes you may see it in <clears throat> your physical sight as well but your clairvoyancy is just the act of seeing something before it actually materializes right broken down into very simple form that's what it is and each and every one of you that are watching this video you are profoundly clairvoyant now Knowing this can be freeing and it can also be scary because being clairvoyant, now you may feel that every single thing you see in your mind's eye is going to come to fruition. And let's be honest, some of us don't have the best thoughts, right? Some of us see our boss getting hit by a bus. <laughs> some of us see that annoying neighbor getting bit by the dog, right? Some of us see our marriage failing, or we see um, lack in our finances, right? It's not always a happy, abundant thing. The important thing to know with your clairvoyance is running on multiple frequencies at all, all the time. So depending on what frequency you tune into the most, that is what will come about. And the reason why it's the frequency that you tune into the most is because it's what you are giving the most momentum. You're giving it the most fuel. So if it's just every now and then you have a vision of your boss getting hit by a bus, that more than likely will not happen if you don't have a lot of emotion behind it. But if you're constantly looking at your bank account, looking at your bills and seeing your account, your money not reflecting what it is that you want it to reflect and you have an emotional attachment to this lack, this I never have enough, no matter what I do, it always happens this way, this is what it always comes about, that energy is what is going to manifest because the momentum, the fuel behind it, the emotions behind it, the energy in motion behind that vision that you're seeing, first in your mind and, to, and then in your uh, physicality, all of that is letting you know okay, this is the signal that I'm putting off the most of, so this is what I want more of. So your higher self, your spirit, your higher consciousness, your clairvoyance, is, which is all a, a spiritual sense, it is going to send signals for you to see this in the physical world because in the spiritual realm, where you are from, spiritual being, in the spiritual realm, they have no emotion towards money and how much of it is here. They have no emotional ties to your human experience. They are emotionally tied to your spirit, but to your human experience, no. So if you're sending a signal of, I never have this lack, woe is me, want, 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 you're sending that signal. Now you're going to get more of that. Your team is gonna say, oh, this must be a wonderful lesson. You know, I'm, this is so good. I'm, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Let's give, them, let's give them more. Let's give them more because this is what they keep saying that they want, right? But you need to allow yourself 
to believe what it is that you see in your minds because again like i said everything is not always good but that which is good that which brings you joy that which makes you feel good give it more momentum if you see yourself living a uh, living well living on a desert island somewhere feed that if you see yourself winning the lottery one day feel that don't keep discarding it by saying that's crazy i couldn't live on a desert remote island i can never win the lottery it never happens for me i never win anything or you do win and it's on a small minute and instead of you appreciating it, oh wow i just won 500 dollars. that means something the next big thing is coming my manifestation is coming through instead of you saying and feeling it that way is oh 500 man that's what i spend in the scratch off anyway right mumbling against what it is that you're seeing but everything that you see in your mind's eye that also does materialize in front of you, whether it's I never have enough in my bank account or everyone always wants to give me gifts and then you go to lunch and someone buys your food or you know you get a, a random unexpected call and they're like, hey, you just want a free trip. All you have to do is pay the taxes, right? That's legit. That is legit, right? If you, if you see things always working out for you and things always work out for you, or if you feel that things never work out for you and they never work out for you, it is part of your experience. And you're meant to share that on some level with someone somewhere. So if it's I've lived a life, my whole life, I've lived um, of service in um, you know, helping others and never really quite getting what it is that I want, but I always see myself as that. You know, some people always see themselves as, um, you know, the help or the cleanup crew, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, we need that. We need individuals like that, right? Or else this world would be a very filthy place, right? We need those individuals. But if that's how they see themselves in their mind's eye, and they execute it in their utmost righteous energy, and they're setting off the signals, they're going to have opportunities to be extraordinary, extraordinary in this vision. So your clairvoyancy, what it is that you see in your mind's eye, that now comes into your physicality. As you train your brain, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to clean up. I'm gonna be the best cleanup person ever. As a matter of fact, I'm so great I'm now expanding my business and I'm teaching other people how to clean up, how to be sustainable, how not to poison other people because that's fucking important. How to create things that are good to go back to the earth, that are good for the environment, that are good for the individuals, that is healthy, that is hygienic, that is sanitary. Now, because I'm the best cleanup person, because I see in my mind's eye that I'm such a good cleanup person, I love this, I'm expanding, I'm teaching other people, now your reach is going so far beyond off of something that you just think is cleaning. But if you see in your mind's eye that you're a cleanup person and you're not moving in your utmost righteousness, now it can be, oh, who pays the janitor? No one listens to the janitor. I don't want to be a cleanup person. That's not lucrative business. What do you mean? Sanitation is a very lucrative business. There's billion... I don't know about billionaires, but shit. If I say it, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm sure there are some billionaires in the sanitation business. I know for sure there's multi-millionaires in the sanitation business. Right now, we're getting prepared for the hurricane. Now, the last hurricane, I dodged. Chalene, you know, I'm in line as whatever. But Bilton, yeah, he is coming with a vengeance. <laughs> so let me break here to say we are prepared. We're good. Again, we live on a hill, not worried about flooding. Um, my husband is coming back. Some of you know, he sometimes he travels, but he will be here to ride out with us to secure us. Um, we're mostly just worried about power outage, but where my home is situated, it's, um, on a grid where we, uh, don't really have that much of an issue. We're in a high priority, um, space. So we'll, we should be good. And even if we do lose power, we are prepared. We have stuff going. So thank you all. I, um, the storm is set to hit like overnight when wednesday into thursday um so like wednesday evening is going to start getting bad then the storm sets to hit hit 2 a.m probably going to cross over us by about 4 a.m um so thursday my thursday video i should be up as long as i have signal and i will let you all know from there but um yeah thank you everybody who has reached out thus far to check on me and my family we are doing good so and that's because i see in my mind's eye that we're doing good because i've been through many hurricanes i'm floridian through and through right raising this bitch born and raised okay so i've been through many a hurricanes 
and I've never been scared. I usually see through it. We're always prepared. My angels, they got me. My team, they got me. Like even the way how my house is structured and the grid, how we're on, like rarely inconvenience. Like they got me. My, my shields, we are strong because I see that we're coming out this on the other side. I know that my grandfather who passed in 2022, who spent the last hurricane with us, right? It was so beautiful seeing him though that that last 24 hours as he rode out with us you know here in my home one of many hurricanes that he rode out with us mind you i know that he is definitely manipulating things in the spiritual realm right so i'm not worried about it i see in my mind's eye with my clairvoyance that we are all good we are all good and i'm so grateful and thankful for that right and i choose to hold that vision and attach the emotional state which isn't very hard because i have past circumstances that show and back up and prove what it is that i'm feeling and what it is that i choose to see okay so you yourself again vision success visualize success because you are profoundly clairvoyant and when you get ideas when you get thoughts when you get repeated visions it's supposed to come to fruition now it may not come and execute exactly how you see it in your mind's eye but that's because again the the energy that it has to go through is pretty dense so sometimes it can get kind of convoluted and mixed up in in between um but by all means believe what it is that you see with your mind's eye believe what you see in your physicality it is meant to help you teach it is meant to help you heal it is meant to help you share it is meant to help you guide it is meant to help you facilitate this experience that we're going through on this human journey okay so that is it. That's all that I have for you today, Wealthy Family. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I'm grateful for you all. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love.